Return my joy, sit down on my throne, bright crowns are in waiting, hold fast till I come. Okay, none of you are my child. Has anyone seen Miri? We are fighting a war 30 years in the future. Is this a joke? Our enemy is not human. We need you to fight. You got drafted. I will be back. There's a lot of things that you could unpack from this film, to be honest, um, which I'm not going to. I mean, there are references here to a satanic Santa. If you go through the film, there's a suggestion made in it about vegetarian food being a clear sign of the end. Some of the imagery as well, um, certainly with the, um, the wormhole that's created to transport people from one um, time slot to another, is very interesting. Take a look. Three, two, one. In 11 months time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. That should be fun. Welcome to the future. So when I saw these, um, this CGI inside of the, uh, inside the film, uh, it automatically triggered in my mind uh, pictures of the images that I'd seen the evangelicals use when it's um, when they're looking to describe the rapture uh, and you have a lot of electricity and light and people floating up into this into the sky and it seems to be very much the same kind of scene with clouds that they've uh, represented in in the, the film but of course as Adventists we don't believe in the rapture so why on earth is this film of interest to Adventists in just over half an hour into the film the timestamp is is there there's a very interesting explanation being given about the alien species and their cultural habits. Have a listen to this. Every six days, the white spikes disappear. They crawl back into their nests. We call it the Sabbath. They're a day of rest. And that's when we insert troops. Did you get that? So, the aliens that they're fighting in the future are Sabbath-keeping aliens, and the whole world is uniting to fight against them. It says every six days the white spikes, that's what they call the aliens, the white spikes disappear, they crawl back into their nest, we call it the Sabbath, their day of rest, and that's when they insert troops. So they take, um, very much like if you read 
um, some of Jewish history, enemies used to start to attack the Jewish people on their feast days and on their Sabbath. And so at one stage, uh, they decided to take their weapons to church with them and to fight back on a feast day because they were getting slaughtered. What these guys are doing is, is exactly that. They're making use of the fact that these creatures are Sabbath keepers. Now this doesn't just happen once in the film. There's another occasion where there's a discussion uh, between the Doctor and um, Chris Pratt, who is the, um, the uh, Dan Forrester, who's the lead actor. And uh, this is what, what he said again. You know, there's another Sabbath coming up tomorrow. Yeah, I know. That's when I leave. Right. But there's two references to the Sabbath. Just in case you missed the first one, you get another reference to the, to the Sabbath later on in the film. He says, there's another Sabbath coming up tomorrow, and he says, yeah, that's when I leave. So what's the take-home message? I mean, this, this just blew my mind. The take-home message is that in the future, the whole world is banded together to fight Sabbath keepers, but there is an indication of what they are going to attempt to do in the film, is to completely obliterate the Sabbath keeping aliens in uh, the year that they traveled back to, which is 2022, seek to destroy all these Sabbath keeping aliens. Now, as I said before, film has a very interesting way of changing culture, changing society. What are the odds that as we near the end of Earth's history, you end up with a film that has something so random in it. The film is called The Tomorrow War. It was released, as I said earlier, on the 2nd of July. If you look at a calendar, the 2nd of July is a Friday, which means tomorrow, from the date of its release, would actually be a Sabbath. You can call it The Tomorrow War, or I guess you could call it The Sabbath War. Is this coincidence? We've just come through the pandemic and, you know, unless you've been living under a rock, society has dramatically changed. What are the odds that as we uh, go into the next half of this, this year, you end up with a film that has a Sabbath reference to it and the, the reference is, these are aliens that we need to destroy? I don't know about you, but I think we are living in very, very interesting times. Is this coincidence or is the world being prepared for something that is coming down the pipeline? What do you think? Comments below.